Sunday 27th of December 1987. Welcome to a rain-drenched Central Park for this Yuletide derby between Wigan and St Helens. There's such a plethora of talent on this field this afternoon that surely they will illuminate what is otherwise a dull, dank, dreary, gloomy winter afternoon. The rain has ceased somewhat, but the crowds are still huddled under shelter, trying to get what they can from shelter they can from an otherwise dreadful day. The wind blowing absolutely straight down the field from the pavilion end of the ground down towards the spine cup. St Helens team out on the field in their white jer jerseys with the blue V and the uh, St Helens team this afternoon at fullback number one is Phil Vivers at two is McCormick three Lachlan four Elia five Quirk six Cooper seven Holden eight Burke nine Groves ten Suto eleven Forber twelve Haggerty thirteen Platt and the St Helens substitutes this afternoon at number fourteen Tanner and at number 15, Evans. Wigan led out today by Graham West. Graham West seeming to be the captain for this afternoon's match. Have <coughs> number one, Hanson. Two, Marshall. Three, Lydon. Four, Hanley. Five, Iro. Six is Edwards. Seven, Gregory. Eight, Lucas. Nine, Dermot. Ten, Case. 11 West, 12 Potter, 13 Goodway. The Wigan substitutes this afternoon at 14 Russell and at 15 Sheldon, who could possibly play his first first team game at Central Park in what promises to be an extremely closely contested tussle. The referee for this all uh, switch on to Burke, Burke trying to batter his way through and Shelford's in, in early doors into the tattle. Groves, long pass and there's a, an overlap as a Delling breakdown, Levers breaks through well, leaves a row standing, St Delling should be over here, lovely play by St Delling, good try, left wing and stranded on their right wing, well backed up on the inside and St Delling's go over for the first try after six minutes to make it now, St Helens 4, Wigan 2. In the tackle, it goes out to Edwards, and a little overhead kick, he's first up now, is it Vivas? Edwards fly kicks at it, and he's tripped, referee says play on, it's not a trip. As McCormick drops on the ball, and there's fists going in, Top Judd's coming on, Looked as if McCormick dropped on the ball, lay on it, made no effort to get up. And Wigan coming in. Going. Referee singling back to one as Goodway comes up. Goodway having a run from behind the play of the ball. Wigan playing with a lot of possession at the moment. As it comes out to Gregory, Gregory holding it, decides he's going to go on his own. Short pass to Lucas. Lucas can't get rid of it, Dermot was hoping to get that. Dermot now onto Gregory, to Edwards, to Shelford. Shelford powering forward and Wigan have lost the ball. And they kept it moved, it goes to Edwards. Edwards to Iro and he's in. Iro's in at the corner. Shelford in the move, Edwards in the move. And Wigan take the lead. Wigan have had a lot of possession this last five. Butling a bit as Holding feed, it shoots out to Holding. And he makes a mess of it, it's loose. Wigan are in each other's way as they dribble it over the line. And they score. Referee's given the try. Loose ball. Holding made a mess of it behind the scrum. Who fell on it? And it's Groves it comes to. Groves on to Holding. Holding a long pass. Picked up neatly by St Talens. Running back into the middle and that's very loose. Leiden fly kicks at it. Now we're going to get a chase. 
Who's got the speed? As Leiden hacks it on. Leiden should score it if he can control it. Takes it over the line and he scores! Legs of the field try to Leiden. Bad passing by St. Helens.